what is up guys welcome back to the channel and to some more wwe 2k20 news keeping you up to date on all the latest and on this video we're gonna be talking the latest new information regarding the 2k originals that are gonna be coming out after the release of the game we got the names of the supposed dlc pack which gives us a hint of what's to come and what theme they're going for on all of the downloadable content that is going to be released for the game we're also talking some of the recent reveals that we haven't covered just yet but before we get into it as you guys already know make sure to elbow drop it if you have been enjoying the coverage and hit that notification to be fully up to date on all of my upcoming coverage we are a month away from the game's release so hopefully it's gonna be crazy busy with a bunch of reveals which i get to cover for you guys nonetheless uh, let's get into it so this is a supposed dlc leak so take it with a pinch of salt because it hasn't been fully confirmed just yet but this gaming retail is italian site are listing the remaining three 2k originals and when translating the site it indicates the following it has the statement that we already heard before wwe 2k originals 2k 20 percent a series of showcase episodes with unique content and themes which will offer new arenas superstars towers unlockable parts for characters and much more follow up with the new information additional purchase is required for wwe 2k originals no man's land wwe 2k originals south Park regional wrestling and wwe 2k originals the empire of tomorrow each sold separately of course this disclaimer is being indicated because the first original dlc pack is technically free if you pre-order the game the other three we're gonna have to buy separately as indicated here or if we got the deluxe or the collector's edition it already comes included again there's no confirmation but let's go ahead and dive in a bit into these packs and what exactly they could be the easiest one to speculate on is of course soft paw original wrestling which is by far the best series that wwe has given us on the wwe network if you guys haven't checked it out definitely do so it's funny sketch with a lot of our superstars that we ended up loving like john cena the fashion police chris jericho rusev lana seth rollins aj styles luke gallows karen anderson and so on they all have their own hilarious characters in it even chris jericho i hope wwe gives us at least another episode of this because it was awesome with every single character showcasing something different from each superstars in a very hilarious way so we could be getting the original dlc of tex ferguson aka Le gallows and so on it's also worth mentioning that these are very popular in community creations so you might be able to find some popular ones already for the no man's sky i'm not necessarily too sure but maybe it has an apocalyptic type feel to it so i'm thinking superstars like the ascension alternate versions of the viking raiders and more superstar with dark feel to them again i'm not necessarily sure just speculation and then for the empire of tomorrow this one certainly feels like it's gonna be a regular dlc pack that maybe has some of the new nxc and nxc uk superstars in it i also get the vibe that we probably get alternate versions of like roman reigns and of course empress of tomorrow asuka which when you think about it this dlc pack should be all about asuka so just give me like 20 versions of asuka a whole showcase if you want to i don't even care and i'll play through it again guys let's not forget that with all of these original packs we're not only going to be getting alternative versions of superstars we are also getting new arenas story based 2k towers episodes of showcase which probably are all gonna have their own unique story to it and other unlockables definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below as for the other bit of news wwe 2k ended up posting a roman reigns talks about wwe 2k tower video which wasn't received well by the community because once again we only got like five seconds worth of a gameplay of roman reigns suplexing drew mcintyre on the monday night raw arena and in it we got a glimpse at the model of drew mcintyre where he is rocking the attire that he had at this year's royal rumble pay-per-view 
So really nothing too crazy of a reveal there, but I do hope that we get more as we are only 30 days away from the game's release. It stands to reason that every week, hopefully WWE Games is gonna give us some big awesome reveal. And again guys, I'll be here to cover it, so hit that notification, and if you enjoy the coverage, hit that elbow drop on the like button. Anyways you savages, we are on the road to 200,000 subscribers, I'm Machu Tiao, dig it!